it's absolutely pouring at the moment. And what do you do when it's pouring like this? That's right, you hook up the kayak, buckle up the trailer, and away we go fishing. G'day everyone, it's Ellen here from Fishing Mad and we are out and about on the kayak once again. This time we are doing some freshwater fishing in one of our local holes. It's generally pretty productive for redfin and a few other species. Now the conditions at the moment aren't the best, if you can believe, only about 10 minutes ago it absolutely poured for about an hour straight. It's only just cleared up in the last few minutes. We're not expecting any more rain in the afternoon, but we do have 25k wind. So it is gonna be pretty challenging out there today. What we're gonna be looking for is just some of those little pockets to hide away from the wind, and hopefully that will get us onto a few fish. Now, I get countless messages every single week about the type of setup, lures, and all that sort of stuff I'm using. So let me just quickly run you through some stuff that I've got today. So this will just be my two to five kilo outfit that I'm taking out today. Now by default, when I'm targeting redfin, often I'll just start with the soft plastic. So what I've got there to start off with, that is just one of the Strike Tiger in a nice bright colors. That's one of the little grubs. And you'll notice the jig head has the integrated spinner. And these work remarkably well. So I use these a lot when I'm flicking towards the shallow banks and also just when I'm covering ground. And I find these are a great starting lure when you're fishing an area and they really do get a lot of bites. And as I said, those nice bright colors, I've got those in bright yellows and bright oranges. And I find that that is a really good starting point. So you'll see this in action a lot today. Um, the other thing that I have got is, so this is another two to four kilo outfit that I've got there. And on this one, what I've got rigged up is just a Samaki Vibalicious. So this here is, it's in those awesome redfin colors, mimics that really well. So obviously all of your redfin and perch, very much cannibalistic fish, so they will have a go at that. Now what I like about this one here is it's great when you're fishing drop-offs and pylons in here. There are definitely some edges there where we're going to fish along those bridge pylons. And this being a little bit heavier, you're going to find that will sink really, really nice along those bridge pylons. And you get action when you basically just lift these up and down, that vibrating action. So these here are another great option. So that is one that I'll have rigged up and ready as well. So that's option number two. And something that I don't do a lot of is trawling, but I will be doing that today. So I've taken the normal kayak rod holders out at the front. And what I'll be doing is I've got these that I will put on basically the middle parts of both kayaks on the side. So these have got the basically the H-rail connector there. So you can quickly put these on and you can angle these in different connections, which is great. So basically as I'm trawling, that's going to be sitting behind me. The rod sits in perfectly. And you never know, that's a really productive way to get some big red fin, even some cod and yellow belly. So what I'll be doing today is I've got just a slightly heavier rod for trawling and I'll be using just a deep diving hard body lure. So that is one of the Rapala Jack Deeps. And I find anything like that is fantastic. So obviously they've got the really big bibs on them. So they're gonna get you down to that sort of three and four meters deep, apart from your shallow ones that you know may get you down to a meter or two. These are gonna get you deeper. It's really good for perch and some of those freshwater species. And that there gives you three different options that's going to be really, really productive out there. And it allows you to chop and change depending on, you know, what you're finding out there, the conditions and the depth, all those sorts of things. And that basically has us rigged and ready to hit the water. Anyway, guys, as always, appreciate you watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to go and check out the members area, which is www.fishingmad.com.au forward slash members. We're giving away one of the brand new Savage Gear SG8 reels. We've also got a heap of brand new fishing workshops on there to check out, which is really awesome. And as always, let's get fishing. Here we go guys. So obviously this part here is pretty damn shallow until you get a bit further out. So, and then you'll notice it'll drop from about one meter deep to about seven meters deep pretty quickly. It's just this first part here you've got to navigate through. I was here probably about oh, 15 months ago and this whole section was completely dry. There was no water at all and you had to walk up a long way just to find any water at all so in fact now that it's shallow is not surprising 
What was interesting though was the volume of cars that we saw that had been dumped here. Um, one of my missions today is to break in a brand new rod combo. So what I have picked up during the week is this brand new Miller's Brawler. So this is a rod that I've been looking at for some time. So these are rated two to five kilo. These are obviously part of the Ian Miller design. Obviously design specialist rods used to do a lot of really, really good things for Shimano. Now it's got his own production line and this is one of them. So this is a brawler. Really like this one because of the length. So this is six foot seven, two to five kilo. And the type of fishing that I do, which is a lot of inshore fishing, estuary fishing, lake fishing today, two to five kilo is a, a really kick-ass size and class. It means that I can go out and target pinkies and flathead and redfin and trout and you know all that sort of stuff. And it's got more than enough power in the butt section to really handle it. So today, the plan is really to break this into something decent. Something that's gonna pull a bit of line, something that's gonna put a good bend in this rod. I'll be a happy man today. And as you can see, the conditions are pretty horrible. So let's get cracking. And this rain is very, very annoying. Woo! Fish there. I don't know what this is gonna look like on the GoPro. I don't suspect it would be pretty. I've got waves now. <laughs> this is horrendous. This is absolutely horrendous conditions. Oh my god, that wind has gotten up. That rain is directly into our face. The things that we do, guys, to try and get content for you weekly. I really hope you appreciate it. Oh yeah, you can see him just holding there, mate. Yeah, right on bottom right now. Just as it drops from... 2.5 to three and a half. You can see just pretty much directly below us. Oh, here we go. Gotcha. Oh, good fish. There we go, guys. Good fish too. That was working that really oh yeah this is a good fish this is a great oh that's a cracker ready man look at this guys oh yeah thank you sir save beautiful well done there you go there now i know there's raindrops on the camera i'm doing my absolute best here guys but look at that there is that yellow soft plastic and the jig head that's not a big one guys we are talking i don't know low 30s but that's a really really nice fish and the good thing is we we're working that really slowly over a spot that we marked up and as you can imagine these conditions are pretty woeful so we're drifting really quickly and uh that's one for the bag so that will be good eating and uh let's try and catch another all right we're trying to do our best to keep that camera dry for you guys but as you know one thing that i like to do is as soon as you catch a fish mark a waypoint on your sounder guys i cannot stress it is absolutely key okay because what it allows you to do is exactly what i'm doing now which is mark a waypoint following my plotter and i know that that blue spot there that's number 49 that's exactly where i just caught a fish and you know what rather than just fishing pointlessly in any spots why don't we fish where we just caught one going right over the top of spot now that's perfect that's exactly where I caught that one oh, face short up like this nice and slow oh got one got one got one here we go here we go got a good fish here guys here we go right on top of that spot again this is fighting quite hard. I'm actually taking my time with this one. I think this is a nice fish. Oh, oh my God, this is a cracker. Oh, oh geez. I do not want to lose this fish. Yes. Hell yes. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's a good ready though. Yeah, so you can get a good look at him. That is a beautiful, beautiful red fin. As the wind is absolutely howling through now, so I've just put the windshield on, so hopefully this won't sound too bad. But the, 
there's your soft plastic there with the jig spin that's basically integrated to the jig head and as I sit back here there is your fish so that is what it's all about this is why we've come here today we want to catch redfin of this size and this is absolutely a beautiful perfect eating size so I'm going to pop him on the brag mat in a minute I knew it was a pretty good fish straight away sorry that wind is absolutely howling but um, basically saw a spot in the sounder that soft plastic hit the water I reckon for all of three or four seconds and there sitting on the end of it was this absolutely beautiful redfin I am so so happy with that and the good news is we've only been fishing for about 15 minutes and we've got two good ones on board so that's a great way to start the day all right so that bite has gone a little bit quiet guys so I've now gone to a plan B which is basically just trawling a couple of deep diving hard body lures. So we know in this area, yeah, you can definitely get cod, you can get estuary perch, you can get silver perch, even seen the odd bass caught here. So this is a really effective way. You know what, You know we've got a little bit of time before we fish towards that evening bite, and I suspect that might be the best time that the redfin might fire up again. So just to break it up, try something different, try targeting a different species, going to a different technique so as you can see there I've got the trolling uh, rod holders on the side there okay so you can tell it's working properly when that rod tip is just bobbing away and then what I am always looking for is the depth so at the moment I'm in five meters deep I know that this hard body lure gets down to about four meters so that's perfect that's exactly where you want to be in that strike zone and you know what? we are just going to keep motoring along until hopefully we see that rod buckle you know what? if not then we'll get back to where we started off and we will uh, basically get the plastics out once again and see if we can get onto a few readies. But you know what? It's just great just to have a plan A, a plan B, and a plan C. Breaks up your day when you're out on the water. It's also great to experiment with different techniques. And you know what? When you do catch some fish and you're trialing something new, it's a, it's a really sense of pride that you've been able to try something, experiment, catch fish in a different style of way. I thought I saw the rod tip buckling <laughs> So uh, anyway guys, let's get to it. Now contending with waves. That's the sort of day that it's been. It's been really challenging out here. Or something there, but I think we're just gonna move on and try and get back to where we started. You know, one of the easy things you could do today is just keep trolling non-stop. I guess I just like feeling moving that plastic or that lure in your hand so it's a bit of my own detriment but uh, sometimes you know you're not getting the catches come on look at that on the screen how's the in feet oh yeah yeah the zed yeah oh beautiful man I got a couple of good outfits now. Oh, 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 gotcha, gotcha. Oh, it's a good fish. This is a real good fish. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, it's a... Yes. Woo. Hell yes! Look at look at them all swarm in. <laughs> the vultures have arrived. <laughs> Not one person denied it. Look at that, guys. That is another B E A beautiful redfin. Absolutely love these fish. Look at those beautiful striking colours. Okay, to say that we've worked hard for that last fish would be the greatest understatement. I think I have pedaled about five or six kilometers. I've probably done another hundred casts. For whatever reason, I was marking up fish everywhere, but they were just not eating. So did a bit of a color change, moved around to a couple of places, and then finally there's another fish there. So that's a really, really nice size ready again. Probably a tad smaller than that last one, but uh, that's a really, really good fish. And as you can see, if you look down that gob, so I just flicked across to that orange and so there we go there guys so that is on that bright orange you've got that integrated jig spinner there 
and there is a beautiful fish so we are very happy as i said it has been hard work i think people sometimes have the impression that you rock up to a spot you turn on the cameras and you just catch and you head home it couldn't be further from the truth a lot of times and you're talking a lot of work it's been pretty challenging conditions today a lot a lot of casts but you know what the rewards if you're willing to put in the time and the effort and try and do all the one percenters properly which might be using your sounder maybe using a little bit of scent maybe just you know really focusing on certain drift lines you can catch beautiful fish like that and for me i absolutely love redfin i know they've got a bit of a bad reputation but to me a fish that tastes good and a fish that loves lure and soft plastics well you get a high rating in my books and i am very very happy with that so that's three for the day another decent size one let's see if we can add to that tally before we call it quits be nice to crack that 40 centimeter size today come on they're right here I got him oh you oh. dropped a big one come on come back just didn't set it, that line was loose. Oh, he's there, he's there, he's there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, hey, gotcha. Oh, this is heavy. This is real heavy. Oh, this is gonna be fish of the day. Here we go. Oh, I'm a bit tense with this one, guys, because the weight on this one is bigger than anything today. And I've caught some decent, oh, this is a horse. Far her out. Woo, come on, come on, come on. Yes, <laughs> that's the biggest one today. Woo. That is the fish of the day. That is an absolute cracker. <laughs> well, persistence there, guys. I was struggling there for a little bit, got that fish, went back to that same spot, marked them up straight away, and very first cast, I've caught definitely what is the fish of the day for me. That is an absolute cracker of a red fin. So it had one or two little goes at it. I dropped it, I cast it out back in that same spot, and then bang, this thing went off. I could feel the weight difference on this. So there is a lot of current today, so sometimes you don't know whether you're fighting the current or whether you're fighting a decent fish, but have a look at that. Now, I do apologize if it's really windy and you can't hear what I'm saying, but that is an absolute cracker of a fish. That has absolutely made my day. That is the catch of the day for me. Now, we've caught four fish now, all really good size, but that is definitely, for me, the catch of the day. So I'm so excited. It's been hard out here. This there is the spoils for the day. So there's the big ready. That's a beautiful one. That's uh, pushing the 40s there, guys. And then we go down the stack. There's another one, another one, another one. And just to give you a size, like there you go. There's my full hand span. So that is a cracking fish. All right, well, that's a wrap, everyone. Talk about challenging conditions. It was really, really punishing out there. But you know what? It was an awesome way to go and test out the Miller's Brawler. And in the end, we caught some pretty awesome fish. So you can see there, you know, fish of this sort of quality. So we've got, you know, four or five fish of that sort of size. So absolutely beautiful. So these fish have been bled out. So they're going to be absolutely awesome eating over the next few days. So, I mean, look, just to give you an example there, guys, look at that. How good is that? So anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to check out the members area, which is www.fishingmad.com.au forward slash members. Some really cool giveaways and some workshops on there. And until next time, good fishing, everyone.